It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm gonna head into a very big experiment, I believe, on the channel. I'm just announcing this now. I'm just thinking about this now. And it's an experiment of going back over beers that I've reviewed on the YouTube channel 10 or 11 years ago. So I first started on YouTube in 2010. It's currently 2022. Uh, so the beer I'm about to show you, I reviewed probably in the first two years of opening this very YouTube channel. So I reviewed this beer like 11 years ago. It's by St. Austell Brewery and it's a bottle of their proper job. It's a 5.5% ABV, described as a powerfully hopped IPA. Now, back when I reviewed this beer, this was sent to me by St. Austell Brewery. They weren't in the supermarket back then, or maybe they just were with their tribute. But you could definitely not get proper job in, say, a regular Tesco Express. The tiny little Tesco stores where this came from. It would have been impossible 11 years ago to have bought this proper job at that supermarket. So it's got a green bottle top on it. And the reason why I've, um, I need to get a bottle opener. The reason why I am doing this, or I'm possibly, possibly starting this new series of beers. Well, first of all, let's get it open into a glass, see what we get. So this series might have started off by complete accident. A friend who I was in school with, how old am I now? 43. I would have probably been a real good friend with this guy, 20, 20. If I say 20 years ago, I was still, I was still 23. So if I say, it was probably 30 years ago, probably getting on 30 years ago where I was, I was really friendly with this. We were local lads. I used to go around this house for tea in junior school and uh, then we went to the comp together. And then, you know, in life, you, you kind of go off in slight different directions. You have different hobbies, you have different interests, and you kind of just kind of like slowly slide away. And then the next thing you know, 30 years has passed. 30 blooming years has passed. Anyway, I'm going to jump back and forth this story, but I'm going to just show you the beer. So we've got a clear, I mean, I don't know what proper job looked like on the channel 11 or 12 years ago, but it's looking got like a golden amber colour there, one finger white, had good levels of carbonation. And it's relatively clear to look at. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it's really, really kind of lemony and zesty. Wow. Really lemony and zesty with a nice kind of malty kind of back end to it. Let's dive in. Gee, I'll get back to my story now. I just want to sip this beer. You know, it's still blooming good. It's still a good beer. Stone the Crows, it's still a good beer. I, I, I remember loving this when I first had it. Um, it's got a really nice, hoppy, bitter finish to it. It's like some bitter on the back end. It's sweetness to begin with, a little bit of malt sweetness over there, bitterness on the back end. It's really lovely and balanced. It really is. This is a tremendous beer. Uh, thank you, Leon. Nice level of carbonation, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. That flavour is of biscuit malt. Lots of cereal biscuit malts coming through. Lemony, zesty, grapefruity on the back end. It's perfectly balanced. Mmm. 
and it's really refreshing, really refreshing and drinkable. So back to my story, back to my story. So I had a message. Actually, no, I, I met Leon round the local shop. This is this friend from 30, 35 years ago. Met him on the local shop. I think I was buying bread. Um, I think he was, I don't know what he was buying, to be honest with you. He was in there buying stuff anyway. Uh, and he said, oh, I've just come across a YouTube channel. I've heard all about it. Just started watching your videos. Um, I think it's great. Thank you. And, I, and, and that was kind of it. I said thank you to him, um, shook his hand, and, you know, kind of like we went our separate ways. Um, but anyway, a couple of days after that, um, I heard a banging on a window. And, I'm, and of course, um, let me let me let me get in and move. So I'm in the conservatory now, and some of you might know that this conservatory, like, is in the ground by the, the whole house is in the ground by a meter. Behind the shelf there is a lane. Uh, 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 that's the level of the lane where cars drive up and down. Uh, not not so much anymore, but um, anyway, that's the level of the land. So we're right in the ground here. So if you imagine somebody on the other side of that wall standing up, they're able to kind of like tap on your window. So anyway, I'll show you this window. The, the window up there, the little quarter like kind of triangular window up there, um, I heard this banging on the window. And I was like, who the bloody heck is that bang? No one's ever banged on that window, like, you know? And I, I was like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> anyway. It was Leon, and I, and I looked up, and he was waving this uh, this bottle of proper job at me, and he was like, "I got a beer for you," and I was like, "Oh, you know, fantastic, fantastic." So, um, <laughs> whilst I had this beer in my hand, I thought to myself, "Could this be the start of something? Is is that moment that moment meeting somebody around the shop you haven't seen for a number of years? Is that a moment where you go actually?" I could, I could make a series out of this. I could go back over the bottles that I did 10 or 12 years ago and try and decipher in my brain from all that time ago if I still like the beer. Is the beer, is the beer changed? I mean, going over your mind from 12 years ago after, after reviewing over 8,000 beers is a very difficult thing to do. But... Um, I think circumstances in life have possibly offered me this opportunity or this, this light bulb moment, if you like, to start a new series of beers when I go to the supermarket and I buy all these old bottles again. Some of the old classics. So thank you, Leon, for the beer. Um, I am going to uh, rate it. I am going to kind of sip it and drink it and, uh, and rate it. Um, so when St. Austell sent me the parcel, they sent me proper black, proper job, Korev Lager, which they just launched back in 2011. And a few other of their beer, they sent me a t-shirt, um, a glass and that, 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 that sort of thing. Um. But they were nowhere near the size of the brewery that they are now. They were a kind of a smallish regional brewery. Um, no way, no way would you be able to go into your little Tesco store and buy a bottle of proper job 12 years ago. It was just impossible. You'd have to go to their website or you'd have to live locally in Cornwall to buy the beer. But the point, the reason why I'm saying that is, of course, the volume of the beer, the, the, the amount that they need to brew now is much bigger than it was 10 or 12 years ago. So the question is, has the quality of the beer changed? I like this. I like this. This is right up my street. This is... It's decent beer. It's decent IPA. It's balanced. It's got that kind of slightly kind of Sierra Nevada vibe to it. I really like it. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I much prefer to drink something like this than something like these lactose infused strawberry 
banana, you know, these these fruit infused beers these days. I'd much prefer to drink this than, than the beer that's just launched into Morrison's from Northern Monk, that three pound can of 8% ABV double IPA with, with like mango and papaya and passion fruit flavors in. I'd much prefer to drink a traditional and isn't it one more thing before I go? Isn't it ironic that I'm calling this a traditional IPA now? Whereas, whereas ten or twelve years ago, I would have been saying this is New World, this is New World beer. And now here I am, eleven or twelve years later, calling it traditional, traditional IPA rather than a fruit infused IPA. I really like that. Really like that. I imagine the price of the beer is going to be about £1.80, if I can kind of guess at that. Um, of course, I didn't buy it myself. But the point is, you can go into a local small Tesco Express shop and you can pick up a proper job that's 5.5% ABV at, at £1.80-ish a bottle. And it can taste great. It can taste wonderful. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I don't know what I rated it 12 years ago. Have a look through the videos. Have a look Have a look to see what I... And have a look how much younger I was in the face as well, 12 years ago. But 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.